Welcome back. And in our sports news, Rory McIlroy's astonishing display over the first two rounds at Congressional Country Club has given the US Open a jolt of electricity it lacked during the tournament build-up. With former world number one Tiger Woods missing this week's championship due to multiple leg injuries, there was less buzz and energy as the game's best players prepared for the year's second major. However, all that changed in remarkable fashion as Britain's McElroy followed his opening six under par 65 with a masterful 66 in Friday's second round to set a tournament record of total of 11 under par 131. Although McElroy made his first mistake in two days when he double bogeyed the final hole on Friday, he also racked up five birdies and an eagle at the par 4 eighth to lead the field by a staggering eight shots. Norway's Petter Solberg led the Acropolis rally in Greece after a first full day of stages on Friday. Solberg was the fastest on four of the day's six stages, with the two Citroens of world champion Sebastian Loeb and Sebastian Ogier taking a one-stage win each. Solberg set a fast time on the second stage, 20 seconds clear. He leads Loeb by 51.6 seconds, with Mikko Hirovinen of Finland a further 55.3 seconds behind Loeb. Fourth is Ogier's Citroen with Solberg's elder brother Henning Solberg, fifth, and Matthew Wilson, sixth, both in Fords. I still had a good time, I'm happy. So uh, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting in the next stage. John Eisner and Nicholas Mahut, who were locked in battle for 11 hours in the Wimbledon round f last year, will face each other again this year after Friday's draw threw up an extraordinary rematch. Eisner and Mahut, who slogged out a freakish match that spanned three days on court 18 at the All England Club, with Eisner eventually triumphing 70-68 to in the final set. They'll meet again at the same stage this year when Wimbledon starts on Monday. The longest ever tennis match last year captured the imagination of the sporting world and left the players physically shattered, with Mahert also bearing the mental scars as he battled depression for three months afterwards. While fans might be hoping for a repeat of what was dubbed the endless match, the players will settle for something much simpler when they find themselves once again stealing a spotlight from some of the bigger names in the first round. And finally, in our sports news, the world's best BMX and skateboard athletes showed off their skills on a 195-foot-long ramp in New York's iconic Times Square. With every fast-moving, high-flying stunt, these extreme athletes wowed the crowd of onlookers in New York City. It was called Air in the Square, and it was a part sports competition, part promotional event for the Madison Square Garden Company, which just launched MSG Action Sports. But business aside, most people in the crowd cheered as they enjoyed the gravity-defying spins, flips and tricks from the BMX champions. After about an hour of head-to-head -head battle bikes on the ramp, the judges named Colton Satterfield as the winner. Serving hero Kelly Slater said he has a huge appreciation for bikes and skateboards. Yeah, skating BMX, I, I watch a lot. I know a lot of these guys I have for a really long time. You know, I grew up skating and and riding bikes, um, so a lot of these guys are kind of heroes to me. And finally, two auctions are taking place in June in Sotheby's in London, with a wide range of works up for sale. On the 22nd of June, one of the most important works by Austrian painter Egon Schiel ever to come to market will go on sale. The painting of 1914 is expected to fetch between 36 to 50 million US dollars. The painting is part of the biannual Impressionist and Modern Auction at Sotheby's. Sales of fine art have increased in the last few years and Sotheby's expects healthy interest in the upcoming auctions. In the last three years we've seen a considerable strengthening in prices and a great desire for masterpieces coming from all around the world, from um, this country, from Europe, from Russia and from um, Asia in particular. And with that, let's take a look at the local and international weather forecast for tomorrow. And before we head out, here are the top stories again. Crown Prince enforces importance of UAE-Malaysia bilateral trade. 
UAE's Butina Island in the running to become one of the new seven wonders of the world. And two more suspected cases of E. coli arise in France. Well, that brings us to the end of the bulletin. As always, we'd love to hear your comments. You can contact us at news at city7tv.com or by calling us on 04-367-2230. From the entire news team, it's goodbye for now.